of all people just got pulled into Judge Juan Merchan's mess, and it ain't looking good, guys. So former President Donald Trump has been pushing for Merchan up in New York City to recuse himself from the criminal hush money case that, you know, it's it seems to be compromised in more ways than one. Let's just put it nicely, right? So there's evidence now that is now coming out that suggests it almost kind of like, you know, just exposes everything here, guys. Evidence is now coming out that Merchan's, the judge's entire family, has had it out for the former president for some time now. And now it is so blatantly clear, it's just ridiculous, right? It's also come out that his daughter has worked with some top Democratic officials. I mean, we're just talking tip of the iceberg here. I mean, we're talking about people like Vice President Kamala Harris, even President Joe Biden seems to be in on this list of clients. I can't wait to share this with you guys. And before we do, all I ask is that you take one second, drop a quick like for the video. I totally appreciate you guys. Uh, if you're able to see and hear me okay, just say hello in the comments. That's all I need from you guys. Make sure we're good. Uh, Don Christensen, what's going on, brother? We got Don O. We got two Dons in here. We got Gail Strong from uh, North California. All right, so Don O says Schiff gave her $10 million. You guys are already dropping the T in the comments. You guys are the best. Uh, and, and if you know anything about this that I don't cover, make sure you share this with me so I can cover it on the next video, all right? So guess what, guys? Uh, this really poses a huge threat uh, to the impartiality of Trump's upcoming hush money case again in New York City, all right? So get this. It also suggests that there is something very corrupt that's going on behind the scenes, as a lot of analysts believe that Donald Trump, he's fighting to prove his innocence, as the judge may have already believed that he's guilty. And I'm going to prove it to you guys in this video, so make sure you stick around. What's up, Debbie Walter? What's going on, Felicia Saldana? Uh, Carolyn Knight from Australia. Wow, we got Pam Clark in the house from Washington State. Sandy Davis from North Carolina, Debbie Hill from Dank. So, all right. So this is not in line with the common practice of law. OK, they're breaking all the rules for one primary goal. And I think you guys know what that is. And let me know if comment down below if you know what this what why they're doing this. Right. So, again, this is not common law where defendants are innocent until proven guilty, something that has not been very apparent with pretty much all of Donald Trump's legal proceedings, right? So, of course, the big question on everyone's mind is, will the judge do the right thing, right? Or at least will this judge do the right thing? We already saw what Judge Arthur Angeron of New York City with Letitia James did. We already saw what Ju uh, Judge uh, Scott McAfee in Georgia uh, in the Georgia election interference case with Fannie Willis and Nathan Wade did, right? Well, what's Judge Juan Merchan going to do? Take a listen, guys. as a political consultant for Democrats. Lauren Merchad is listed as president and partner in the political consulting firm Authentic Campaigns. Authentic does tens of millions of dollars of work for Democrats and progressive causes. Authentic boasts its clients include President Biden, Vice President Harris, California Senate candidate Congressman Adam Schiff, you may recall helped lead the congressional investigations into Trump, and even squad member Congresswoman Elon Omar, among many other prominent Democrats. Wow. In the motion, Trump's lawyers say Ms. Merchan will benefit from the prosecution of the former president, saying, quote, Your Honor's daughter will continue to earn money from these developments by virtue of her senior role at Authentic. Well, the district attorney's office of Alvin Bragg, though, responded, saying, quote, The daisy chain of innuendos is a far cry from evidence that this court has a direct, personal, substantial, or pecuniary interest in reaching a particular conclusion. You know, I'm not really surprised at what Alan Bragg said about this. I mean, this is this all of this is a big, huge sham. I mean, now, guys, if you haven't already, definitely hit the like button for the video. Catalia in the house. What's going on? We got John Gardner. Uh, we got Uncle uh, Uncle Kamisha. What is going on, everyone? Sandra Hoffman from North Carolina. Good morning, you guys. If you haven't already, definitely share this video out with your friends. We got to get the truth out here, guys. Many analysts believe that all of these people, they're working together to conspire against the former president. The main goal is to get Donald Trump into prison before the 2024 presidential elections. Representative Adam Schiff, he is considered to be basically spearheading a lot of this effort 
uh, behind, you know, the Dems, the far left trying to get rid of Trump before that time. And if you guys did you guys see my video last night on the uh, on the whole Georgia ballot situation that they literally exposed? Oh, it's all coming to light. If you haven't checked that video out, make sure you check it out right after this one. OK, um, <laughs> literally, the proof has been exposed last night and, and, and we went in. So if y'all didn't see that video, make sure you check it out after this one. But Adam Schiff is also a part of this entire mess because the truth has now been revealed. So Adam Schiff is the chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, and he led the first impeachment effort against Donald Trump way back in like 2019. Months after accusations and congressional inquiries related to a call between Donald Trump and Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky led to him uh, and six other Democrats delivering articles of impeachment to the Senate in early 2020. So the Democrats were focused on the former president putting forth uh, an exchange of some sort, right? Uh, basically, the deal was that Ukraine would receive military aid and they would in turn investigate into President Biden's family's uh, corrupt business deals. Now, if you guys remember, this is related to Burisma where Hunter Biden was being paid like a million dollars a year to sit on his butt and do nothing, basically, right? Now, within that same month, January 2020, Adam Schiff's campaign committee, they paid a New York-based consulting firm $600,000. And this was for uh, digital media buys, uh, basically, presumably to spread the word via email, text, social media, uh, online advertisements that Adam Schiff was preparing to remove Donald Trump from office. So you might be wondering, well, maybe you're not wondering this, but here's the thing. What was the firm's name that Adam Schiff hired? Well, if you've guessed uh, authentic campaigns, well, you would be right. <laughs> All right. Now, Cowboy Rob, thank you so much for the $2 super chat. I really appreciate you, man. Uh, so Cowboy Rob says, Congress moved to remove Schiff from all committees. What do y'all think about that? Are you guys uh, with Cowboy Rob on requesting to have Adam Schiff removed from all committees? Let me know what y'all think on this one here. But get this, guys. So Adam Schiff hired authentic campaigns, all right? I want you to pay very close attention to what I'm about to tell you here, okay? Authentic campaigns. This is the very same one that's headed by Lauren Merchan. Notice the last name here. OK, so Lauren Merchan, this is Judge Juan Merchan's daughter. OK, how convenient is that? Right. And get this, guys, reports from the Federal Election Commission. It actually shows that Adam Schiff's campaign committee paid Lauren Merchan's firm close to four million dollars between January 2019 to December 2020. Now, besides that fee, Adam Schiff also gave them $215,000 or about that amount for alleged digital consulting fees, right? It was also around the same time when Michael Cohen, a man who uh, committed perjury and lied about Donald Trump, was turned against his former client. So this shows that Adam Schiff was throwing a lot of money at getting rid of Donald Trump and still nothing worked. <laughs> they threw all this money at him. Uh, trying to get this man in trouble and nothing even worked. But this again was when Adam Schiff was literally working hand in hand with Judge Merchan's daughter. Now, at this point, we could just pretty much say that this is a huge conflict of interest and that it shows a clear sign of election interference. But let's let's go ahead and dig a little bit deeper, shall we? Y'all want to dig a little, little bit deeper? Y'all want to know the real dirt behind this thing here? Uh, hit me up in the comments, guys. So we're going in today. So Lauren Merchan's work against Trump at the time, it actually helped her earn a Rising Star Award um, from Campaign and Elections Magazine in 2020. Now, according to them, Merchan was setting new benchmarks in the digital media space. They also touted the vote. Um, they also touted the quote, um, groundbreaking historical work for clients like John Tester, Kamala Harris, Adam Schiff, and others. So she's making bank by going against Donald Trump 
with her help from the firm. That and, of course, millions of dollars from the likes of Adam Schiff. So I want to ask you guys, does this sound like a conflict of interest to you? Bill Scoggins, what's going on, brother? Thank you so much for the $2 super chat this afternoon. Bill Scoggins says absolutely yes. Okay, I added the absolutely, but he said yes. So anyway, does this really sound like a conflict of interest to you guys? I think the answer is clear. But so Donald Trump, he seems to he seems to think that he actually uh, and he actually says that Lauren Merchan is making a lot of money with this case. I think it's very obvious what the incentives are and what the objectives are at this point. And this is the argument that they've been raising for a long time now and also why Judge Merchan should ultimately recuse himself from the case. Now, if we go back to May last year, Todd Blanche. Susan uh, Nichelle's defense attorney, um, these are defense attorneys for Donald Trump, and they ultimately argue that Judge Marchand's daughter has a very close connection to President Trump's political adversaries. Duh, right? <laughs> and if that alone didn't look shady enough, there's also the financial interest of her firm that's deeply ingrained with all these different democratic politics. So this is why they raise time and time again that there's a legitimate concern to Judge Merchan's impartiality. Basically, Judge Merchan's en entire family is tied up in this thing. Um, and so here's the thing we have to realize. Lauren Merchan's firm, they owe much of their financial success to their attacks on Trump. I mean, there's a financial reward, ultimately. For, for all of this, right? And it's also it's also a firm that supports individuals and causes that are in direct competition with the former president. How could you possibly get a legitimate case or a legitimate uh, hearing from a judge who is clearly going to be biased, right? This literally means that the financial well-being of the judge's daughter depends on this case. I mean, this is absolutely crazy to think about. What do y'all think? Like, is this... Does this make any sense whatsoever? And is this blatantly, uh, they're just doing this out in public. <laughs> oh man, what do y'all think? We got John, we got Don Christensen in the house. We got um, we got Hughie Burke. All of this is unbelievable. I'm with you, man. I'm with you. Uh, Terry says mass non-compliance is the only way this ends. Ooh, ooh, that's 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 uh, that's big. That's big. Um, Margaret from Kentucky. What's going on, Margaret Miner? Ah, man. Let's get these likes up. Appreciate you. Suzanne Eckstein says 295 thumbs up, 712 people in the chat. Come on, peeps. Do better. Smash the like button. And it does really help. It really does. I, I really appreciate you guys. And I also really appreciate you guys sharing these videos. I mean, even just sharing it on Facebook and Twitter, um, it definitely helps get the word out. And I really appreciate the support. It helps the channel. It helps uh, get the message out because we all know mainstream media ain't trying to put this information out here like this. And it's this. So this is why a lot of politicians, uh, this is why more, I would say political analysts more than uh, politicians have said that this is proof of how differently Trump is being treated. Politicians have said that too, but more political analysts, uh, if you ask me, but you also have to remember Mer Chan put a gag order on the former president. You know, this whole Stormy Daniels hush money trial that's about to start in um, about 10 days, less than 10 days, eh, about, about 11 days now. Um, this was an order that was ultimately expanded when Donald Trump provided evidence that the judge's own daughter was benefiting from this entire deal. So Donald Trump ends up being a whistleblower for the for the for the judge's daughter and instead of saying, hey, you know, we, we, we need to we need to consider this. You know, this is this is starting to look like uh, this is starting to form an odor of mendacity <laughs> to steal a line from uh, from uh, McAfee up in the uh, Georgia election case. Right. Um, it's starting to smell a little fishy in here. Right. But here's the thing. Trump said something very sensible on Truth Social. He said that all of these people can talk about him freely. They can criticize him. They can talk smack. They can they can throw accusations his way. But the minute he answers back, the gag order is then expanded. Like, seriously, like, how does it how does anyone think that this is remotely fair? Did y'all notice what happened? 
I mean, I can't be the only one who, who saw this, right? So, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, Don O, what's going on, brother? Thank you so much for the huge $10 super chat. So Don O says, okay, I'll, sur I'll surrender my debit card number. I mean, this, is, this, is, this is unbelievable, guys. There's so many, there's so many backs being scratched here. Uh, there's so many palms being greased right in front of our faces like how how is this how is this just being allowed to transpire gd vance price excuse me genie van price thank you so much for the five dollar super chat you are so appreciated as well man you guys are absolutely just amazing today i, I really really do appreciate your support thanks for tuning in i know it's middle of the day um you know it's 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 wild today thursday you know it's Oh man, Don Christensen, ten dollars super chat, my brother. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh man. So, but what do you guys think about all of this? I mean, it's funny how much is coming to light. You know, yesterday we talked about the Georgia ballots. Um, we had in we had an inside Zoom meeting exposing what went down during the Georgia elections uh, voter ballot count, thousands of ballots were essentially fake ballots. They were they were fraudulent ballots. You, if you guys didn't check that video out from yesterday, it's, it's the previous live, I think it's the previous live. Gotta go ahead and check that video out. Unbelievable what, what they're doing over there and unbelievable that this is just now coming out now. I mean, it, 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 how many of you guys remember that water main break that came out, uh, that, that water main break that took place uh, during the Georgia, uh, just before the Georgia runoff elections? And how many of you guys believe that really happened? Like, or was that a planned event? I mean, like, anyway, Captain Redbeard R. <laughs> Thank you so much for the fourteen ninety nine super chat. I appreciate you so much. You guys, you guys are absolutely the best, guys. So, like I said, so much is coming out, and if you don't already have your notifications turned on for the channel, click the the bell notification uh, icon so that you don't miss out when we go live, when I drop new videos and whatnot. I predict that. These updates are going to be coming out way faster in the coming days. Um, Katalia is showing so much love to everyone in here doing super chats. Thank you so much, Katalia. I really appreciate. I really appreciate all of you guys. So, but does this sound fair to you guys? Like they talk smack about Trump. Trump exposes the daughter for you know what she's doing on social media, and then you know they expand the gag order on him. On Donald Trump like does that make any sense whatsoever I mean or is this basically them trampling on Donald Trump's First Amendment rights now his Trump's legal team they're expected to file another motion to recuse the judge that's assigned to Donald Trump's New York case for the uh, for the uh, the uh, hush money case he's got all these different cases it's hard to keep up with him <laughs> Oh man, Margaret Miner says no, it's not right. Um, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Walter do Walter Debo says Maine is snowing with a foot of snow. Does did anybody know it's snowing in Maine right now? Is it snowing anywhere else? Um, let me know, guys, because I'm not gonna lie. Like last night, the temperature dropped so fast, I did not expect it. Like I went outside, I was like, wait, wait, wait. It was warmer earlier today. I went outside last night. It was like 40 degrees. It was freezing. Anyway, what's the weather like where you, where you guys are at? I don't know if it's doing some weirdness. Uh, you know, I don't know if it's climate change or something, whatever. Anyway, so now Donald Trump's legal team is expected to file yet another motion to recuse, right? Um, a lot of people say that Judge Scott McAfee in the uh, Georgia election case should have recused himself, but that didn't happen. But here we have a, uh, here's a fresh attempt on a new case. Now, um, the question is, will Judge Marchand think about his own integrity? I mean, I don't think that Arthur Engeron thought about his integrity or maybe he just didn't care. Um, but in fact, it actually puts him and his entire family in a particularly bad light, if you ask me. Right. I mean, 
this one screams bias and corruption. But what do you guys think? Like, will will Trump actually have a fair trial with is it even possible for Donald Trump to get a fair trial with Judge Marchan on this case? Um, you know, let me know what y'all think on this one. Wow. 65 degrees in sunny Arkansas from uh, John Gardner. Uh, no snow in Florida from uh, Susie Watkins. Um, Jennifer Brown says it's chilly in Semo. Uh, beautiful weather in Texas. Thanks, Janie. 79 degrees in Arizona. Thank you, Don O. So, okay. So, uh, Sharon, Sharon P Patterson says 79 degrees in Texas. Uh, a couple of you guys in here from Texas, a couple of Florida folks in here. We got Raider Rick, 81 degrees and sunny here in Florida. Man, I need to go to Florida because I need that 81 degrees, uh, that 81 degree temperature and some sunshine because <laughs> I do not like the cold. I do not like the cold. Um, Katalia says, pray for those who are going through tornadoes. Man, where are their tornadoes taking place right now? I, I, we did get a tornado warning uh, two days ago. Um, there was a tornado warning, I know, from uh, in Tennessee. Um, anyway, but uh, guys, if you haven't already, hit the like button for the video. Share this video. Get the word out for what's really going on um, behind closed doors, behind the scenes that they don't want us to know about. Um, appreciate you guys. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure notifications are turned on. And I can't